Hello and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. We are in Orzammar, the city of the dwarves, and we are trying to gain their favor so they will support the Grey Wardens. Let's waste no time and continue. Those statues are dwarven paragons, if I remember right. Show some the best of their ancestors. Poor old man. Oh, I can investigate those statues. Now that's you a thing of beauty, daughter. If you work hard like Branca, all Orzammar will know your name. Mother, I don't want to be like her. She... Don't say that. Not to me, not to anyone. Now get back to the forge. I want to see more details. Okay. All right, I've come up with one. A question that you can't answer. Are you talking to me? That's right. You think you're so smart. I've got okay, an academic let's hear question it. that I bet you won't be able to answer. Oh, I doubt that. So tell me then, what was the name of Andraste's husband? This is a religious question, not an academic one. You're joking, right? A five-year-old could answer that question. Do you not know more than a child? I care nothing for your religion, and this game of yours is over. Oh, how the mighty have crumbled. Oh, wow, he really got her there. So we heard that uh, the king died, and that uh, currently um, they are in the process of finding a new leader which usually means trouble it is the assembly who makes a king and a king who nominates his successor none of it is carried in the blood or as now when someone tries using the assembly to pull a coup. Who's to say what my father said in his final hours, when the usurper Harrowmont was the only one by his side? I'll have you thrown in prison. You've bitten off more than you can chew. Handlers, separate these dashers in the diamond quarter. I will not have Balin incite a riot. You will not speak that way about the man who should be king! Oh. Ooh. He didn't hesitate. We are in the Orzammar Commons. Let's talk to the captain of the guard. Vieta, surfacer. I'm bid to let you walk the Commons, but keep your place. Warden or not, I want order. Well, the blight is coming, and I need Orzammar's assistance. Surface problems. Well, we have no king to hear you. You can join the shouting at the assembly in the Diamond Quarter if you want. Bunch of... Desher lords bickering over sand, Balin, Harrowmont. Is one so different? No paragons here. Sounds like Balin and Harrowmont are the ones to talk to. They've caged themselves for fear of each other. As you've seen, keeping order down among us working people is dodgy. No place for a proper lord. Balin speaks through his second, Vartag Gavorn, in the assembly. Lord Harrowmont speaks through Doolin Ferender. From his estate. You mentioned paragons. Surfacers appoint no paragons? Truly, you're lost in all that sky. They are the best of us, declared living ancestors. If you must be a pretty much warden, a hall of fame, at least know us. Go to the Shaper of Memories in the Shaperit, the true bright spot in the Diamond Quarter. Can a city function like this? See, that's why I don't want you surfacers seeing our worst. You'll think that's all we are. The market is thin, but busy, and the tavern never closes. Bad blood is usually kept to the proving. Should toss Balin and Harrowmont in there, sort this all out in a hurry. The proving? Personal battles for honor and ancestor. 
I don't expect a surfacer to understand. If you must be our warden, at least know us. Go to the Shaper of Memories in the Shaperit. The true bright spot in the Diamond Quarter. Okay. Yes, you should. Okay. New class, Vodkavorn, Doolin, Ferenda. So those are the spokespeople. Okay, we have some quests here. Let's go to the left first. Wow. So this is Ozama. It's huge. It is. And I'm sorry. Did you have an offering for the ancestors? Although I can't imagine your ancestors reside in the stone. Who are you? My name is Vilda, widow of Turak of the Smith Cast. I pray here every day for my son, Ruck. I only wish I knew whether I should be asking for his safe return or for the ancestors to accept his soul. Safe return? Your son is missing? It was five years ago. He was only a youngster. He joined a Deep Roads excursion, the only smith to go with the warriors to repair their arms. He was so proud, but he got separated somehow. When they That's came not home, good. Wasn't with them. The deep roads? The deep roads are where Darkspawn come from. They descend for miles into the earth, and we must patrol them constantly or be overrun. I lost my husband to them. If I lost my son the same way... Did anyone go after him? The captains don't want to lose anyone searching for stray men. Too many were taken by dark spawn that way. What would... Uh, okay, let's... Before we ask for a prize, let's uh, get some more information. There are dark spawn on the deep roads? The deep roads are where dark spawn come from. They descend for miles into the earth, and we must patrol them constantly or be overrun. I lost my husband to them. If I lost my son the same way... Okay... What would you give for a safe return? You're asking what I would pay for your services? I have little money since my husband died. But wait, I saved his shield, the masterpiece my husband smithed. I was saving it for Ruck's return. Okay. If someone were to find my son or his body, they can have the shield with my blessing. Uh, we shouldn't abandon him. I'll look for him. How? There is no way except to brave the deep roads yourself. Well, I'm a great warden, okay? A warden? Kind of so big deal. So you could do it. Only wardens face the deep roads without a company backing them. Oh, thank you. The ancestors finally heed my prayers. Hmm. Well, we'll, we'll see about that. Up. We could search the deep roads for decades with no sight of the boy. Please, find me as soon as you return. Yeah, I mean, we, we promised that we look, but not sure how good our chances are. Um, so there's another quest giver over there, but here we have Top another siders? person. Good. Get some outside gold in here. Calm people down. Make them think we should open the gates for good. The more cracks in the old way, the better. That's what Balin stands for. Okay. So, your allegiance to this uh, Balin is clear. Why? Not your business, but I see where the gold is. He's the traditional pick, yet he wants a new way, whether some like it or not. Okay. Some say Balin killed his father. Just as many say Harrowmont. Neither are paragons, and the scales being equal, I go with the promise of more trade. Fair enough. Um, so you approve of this chaos? Can't find ore without splitting some stone. My investments are solid, I'll be fine. The assembly has done us a favor. They've shown just how loose the sand is under our feet. It opens people to change. Well, a blight is coming. Orzuma can't be divided. Orzuma will decide what we can or can't be. Blight may be imminent on the surface. But our warriors are well seasoned against dark spawn. There will be topsiders left for trade. There's no end to you. Uh, let me see what you have in store. I'll take your gold. You're good for that. Thank you. 
It's very, very kind. Okay. I don't think I have actually anything to sell. Does he have anything cool? Some gifts. Remarkable sapphire. Golden symbol of Andraste. Sounds good. Ally King's flag and a monument to the pot of valiant and properly hammered gold. Like of a that allows for a quick pour and more importantly refill. Never a stale brew when okay. Silver Demon Head Ring. Okay. Gold earrings. A little bit expensive. Uh, that reminds me I should check uh, the gifts that I have. You guys gave me uh, some advice. I just have to try remembering. I think this one on Dress's Grace was for Liliana. Let's switch Severan out for Liliana. Oh, Liliana. Flowers? For me? Oh, they smell lovely. And there's something so familiar about them. These, these were my mother's flowers. She would sprinkle the dry Nailed petals it. amongst her clothes. Oh, they smell just like her. Thank you so much. Plus 15. That's pretty good. So what else do I have here? Lamp bone. Portrait of a goose girl. Golden symbol of Andrasa. That also sounds very... liliana -y. Oh, how dear of you. Thank you so much. Um, Morgan, a demon head ring. That sounds interesting. No, she wasn't really interested. Uh, I don't know about all of these. Mm, what about the Garands of Pharrell? Interesting. No. Completely wasted that. Right. Well. Guess could have been worth. Um. Blood let's get. Yes. Get Zevron back. There, Brother Burkle. Oh, there's a wall carving. The castes. Maker's blessing on you, brother. Uh, not very religious, sorry. Oh, uh, you look as if you come from the surface. I thought perhaps you were raised in the way of the Chantry. I'm Brother Burkle of the Red Cliff Chantry, returned to my ancestors' land to spread the chant of light. Oh, he's from Even Red in Cliff. the very bowels of the earth, we hear no end of this chant. True. And that is something to rejoice in, good sister. I'm petitioning to open a chantry in Orzammar. Don't dwarves worship their ancestors or something? There is resistance. Okay. It's obvious the world wasn't created by the mortal souls who dwelt within it. Yet the dwarves of Orzammar persist in worshipping their own forefathers. Uh... Well, it's their religion. You shouldn't interfere. You speak as if these people have deliberately chosen to reject the Maker, but most of them haven't even heard his name. How can they choose the path of enlightenment if they never learn that the path exists? Well, I guess some... Um... Well, if, if he gets... If he doesn't force anyone and just... Um practices his religion, I think that's fine. So whose permission do you need? The Shaper it controls changes in Orzammar's structure and society. I need the Shaper of Memories' permission to open a prayer meeting. The Shaper of Memories? The Shaper of Memories controls the Shaper it, Orzammar's record system. 
like the Chantry's historians, but, but more thorough. They track the births and lineage of every dwarf born in the city, every property sale, death in battle, marriage, or divorce. Okay, sounds pretty useful. Any, any idea where I could find the Shaper? The Shaperette is in the prime tier of the city, near the royal estate. Does this mean you're, you will help me then? Uh, if I bump into the Shaper, I'll be sure to mention it. I can see the Maker's hand on your shoulder, guiding you always. Please, let me know as soon as you've heard anything. Okay, we'll see. Like, I think it's fine if we can uh, give him the opportunity to practice his religion. Um, as long as he doesn't interfere. What is that spell? Dwarven with vomit. Theirs. Charming. Yep, let's go to the tavern. Kara. I trust Vala, stranger. You must be the Grey Warden we heard about. Welcome to Tapsters. I'm Cora, your hostess. How may I serve you? Ah, oh, I'd like to hear a bit about the city. <laughs> so you come to Tapsters? I guess you're not asking for anything official, or you'd be at the Shaperit. But I can certainly give you a mole's eye view. Is there any place I should see while I'm here? The nobles stay upstairs, except when they're slumming. You'll find the assembly there, the palace, the Shaperit, and plenty of estates. Down from here is just Dust Town or the Mines, so my recommendation is avoid. It's not part of the city, just some old tunnels where the castles build their nest. No one goes there if they can help it. But if you want fun, your best bet is the proving. What's the proving? It's a chance for all the best fighters in Orzammar to test their skills. There's a tournament today. Arenas between here and the Diamond Court. Oh, interesting. That's all. A Grey Warden is always welcome in Tapsters. Thank you. Very polite. I like it. Afternoon, stranger. You looking for a stool to share a brew? Why? Name's Naveen. I fight with Prince Balin's expeditionary field unit. Yourself? You work for Balin? I go where I'm sent, fight when I'm there, and leave politics where it belongs. Who's your unit fighting? Darkspawn. Not much use in turning our weapons elsewhere while those vermin still live. Okay. I've never been in the Deep Roads. Every Grey Warden ends up there. That's where they send you when you're ready to leave this world. Go die in the dark, putting away as many vermin as you can. Getting more crowded these days, though. Lots of people interested all of a sudden. We go back tomorrow, and we're not the only ones. Oh, interesting. Who's sending you out? Balin ordered us in at first bell. He's splitting us into four teams to search for some of the lost tigers. Looking for signs of Bronca, I guess. Seems to be who everyone's after. Bronca? Bronca was a paragon, some kind of great smith or whatnot. But she went batty and let her whole house into the deep roads more than two years ago. No chance she could have survived. And a lot of good men are gonna die looking for her corpse. Excuse me. This brew is starting to taste awful bitter. Interesting. Oh, wow. That, oh, that is... That... Yeah, that is some singing. Nervous adventurer. What? Get away. You'll change like the rest. Monsters hidden in all my friends. What are you talking about? They follow you. Once you are in the story, they possess your friends and follow. See? I found copies. All from the same pen and older than the ones in song. Dormant my ass. Take them. I want out. I won't disappear chasing a lie. I won't. Um, okay. Told him I don't understand Maybe. why things aren't open to everyone. I mean, it's how the ancestors show their favor. Do they really need our help Little. to decide who's worthy? And then too much ale. Slapped me. Lord Denik Helmy, honored desher of the Orzammar Assembly, and terrible disappointment to my esteemed mother, who doesn't like me spending time in taverns. You understand what I'm saying, right? On the surface, there are no casts, and it works fine. Am I right, Warden? Ah. Uh... 
I mean, my, most people, most humans treat my people like a castless. But there are those like you who see this with concern, no? Well, I've taken the time to actually talk to the other castes. You know, most smiths and tavern keeps would make decent dashes if we gave them a chance and a seat in the assembly. Or Zamar is so mired in tradition no one bothers asking if the castes are even necessary. Fair enough. How does the caste system work anyway? Badly. Oh, you're serious? Well, it's simple, I guess. The king and elected deshers of the assembly are at the top. Then it's the nobles. Then the warriors and all the craftsmen. At the bottom are servants. The castless and criminals are below even that. Your caste is determined by that of your same-sex parent. And that's where you stay your whole life, whatever mm. your skill. So... You get to vote on the next king. Me and 79 other fine, upstanding examples of how someone who's born into every privilege inevitably wants more. They're not fond of my views on each other. Kind of like him. What are you voting for? I doubt either candidate has been outside the diamond quarter in his life. But Lord Harrimont seems a bit more forgiving. Prince okay. Balin's brilliant, I'll give him that. And subtle as sin. But I don't think anything in Orzammar matters more to him than winning. I see. As Interesting. you wish. Good to hear some opinions before we dive into the dwarven politics. Uh, let's go down first. As you say. Let me guess. This is where the poor people live. Yes. Very sensible. There's a rich one. Oh, what? We'll get plenty of it once we cut them out of it. <sighs> okay, what a welcoming. Let's make this quick. Close. No, no. I hope I don't get blood you all over You will not here. win. Oh. 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 Jeez. I think that's all of them, yes? I am done with that one. Okay. Wow. How nice. Who are you? You don't look like any guardsman I ever saw, and that's not much of a uniform. I'm Theron, a Grey Warren. Oh, you looking for a chance to bring in some coin? Could be I have that opportunity. Especially for someone with a few connections above ground. Okay. I'd like to hear what you're asking. Human kings, you know, they make these ridiculous laws. Like about who gets to buy and sell Lyrian, the sacred gift the stone provides us to show her love. No law should regulate that. The laws are meant to keep mages away from the stuff, so there's always buyers in the Circle Tower. I got one man named Godwin. He's expecting a delivery of a stone's weight. Uh -huh. You want an investment opportunity? Uh, I could see fit to, say, sell you that lyrium instead at the reasonable price of 50 sovereigns you can keep it or since you can travel freely from here sell it to godwin who you know is buying and uh if you bring back his return order i could pay you uh, say 20 sovereigns as a finder's fee it must be dangerous if you're paying so more much. so for someone like you i guess most dwarves born down here have a natural immunity. Other races, there are problems if they spend too long with the ore. The real issue is that lyrium's valuable. It's only found down here, and human mages can't work without it. 
Mm. Sounds like I wouldn't approve your kind of opportunity. As long as you keep your eyes down and your mouth shut, we've got no further business. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if I want to get into that deal. That sounds like a lot of trouble for a little bit of coin. An idle dwarf. There is another spare a bit Zerlinda. For the need. Have you a coin to spare, my lord? It's for my son. He's sick. He hasn't any clean clothes to wear or anything to eat today. Neither have I. Why doesn't your son's father help you? A question I ask every day. He was eager enough for a daughter who would bring him into the mining cast. But since the boy was born, I've not seen Nose or Heal of the Lout. And me alone on the street, forbidden to return to my family unless I... But no, I can't bear to even think of it. What's wrong? My name is Erlenda. I wasn't always like this. I was born to a mining cast family. We weren't wealthy, but... I never went hungry before. Now it's all gone. And it's my own fault. Ancestors curse me, but there's nothing I can do to set it right. What happened? I fell in love. He seemed so exotic, you know? Tough and smart, and never had to bow his head to anyone. He was castless. And I think... No. I know he was just trying to father a higher caste child so he could petition for status. But our child was a son, castless like his father. My parents disowned me and stripped my caste from me. Unless I agree to abandon the child in the deep roads and pretend I never bore him. That's horrible. I cannot abandon my baby. The Shapers teach that only children of true lineage exist, not those born castless. But they never carried a child. He cries like any other infant and smiles when he's warm and full. I can't kill him because of an accident of birth. An accident I forced on him? Uh, can't you just take your son to the surface? I thought about that. They say there's no caste up there. That humans don't care about lineage. I've never met a surfacer, though. I, I thought it might not be safe. Um, I'm from the surface. And you've been kinder than any of my countrymen. Perhaps it's a sign. If it gives my son a chance to live, I will go. Thank you, stranger, for opening my eyes. Perhaps I'll see you next in the light of the sun. Yeah, good luck with that. Get out of this brutal caste system. Jeez. <laughs> Okay, Morgan. Two magic, one willpower. Let's see. Flying swarm. Could do that. Tone of cold. I granted them a short term boost to mana seminar regeneration. Mm -hmm. Let's get Cone of Cold. And tactic slot acquired. Uh, enemy. There's visible. Usability. Cone of Cold. Okay, this one is locked. Suspicious door. This door appears to be made of solid stone. There are no visible means of opening it. On closer inspection, there is a small slot concealed in a fold of the stone, just big enough for a finger. Look through the slot. You see nothing but blackness. Okay, interesting. Don't want to stick anything in there. Slum's house. Okay. Let's check it out.
It will be done. Dusted leather gloves. Anything else? There. A maze. Okay. So, I guess for now that's it with the dust district. A warm welcome and a heartbreaking story, but that's about it. Culture and history. The castes. Visitors to Ozuma should keep in mind that the hierarchies of Dwarven society are much more complex than our own. It is easy to gravely insult a man simply by mistaking his position. Since this can lead to unnecessary loss of life and limbs, I will attempt to mitigate the danger for my fellow travelers. The society of Ozuma is divided into nobles, warriors, smiths, artisans, miners, merchants, and servants. Now you are undoubtedly saying to yourself, we have all those divisions among our own people. This is a dangerous misconception. Certainly we do have nobility, artisans, merchants, and these other positions are largely inherited from our parents. However, the younger children of noblemen often choose to be artisans or soldiers. The sons of merchants may join the army or become servants or apprentices themselves to a craftsman. This is all freely chosen, limited perhaps by the circumstances of birth, but still chosen. What uh, is a matter of choice for most human folk is dictated entirely by birth for dwarf. No one may become a smith who was not born to smith case parents. A servant who marries a noble woman will never be a noble himself, and although his daughter would be nobles, his sons would be servants, for daughters inherit the case of their mother, while sons inherit the case of their father. The caseless. The case system in Aldama includes many groups of privilege, the nobility and the warriors above all others, but to a lesser degree the merchants and the smith and the miners. Uh, tradition establishes a clear hierarchy, but as in any culture with an upper class, there is also a clear underclass. These unfortunates, the so-called caseless, are believed to be descendants of criminals and other undesirables. They have been looked down upon since Aldama's foundation. They have taken up residence in a place called Dust Town, a crumbling ruin on the fringe of Ozuma's common areas. Ozuma's society considers these caseless lower than even the servant case. Indeed, the caseless are not allowed to become servants as it is too honorable a position. They are seen as little better than animals, their faces branded at birth to mark them as the bastard children of the kingdom. Their home district, little more than a slum, is a haven for crime organized and otherwise. Ozuma's guards seemingly cannot be bothered to patrol the streets. The best that most cases dwarves can hope for is a life at the whim of a local crime lord, ended abruptly by violence or an overabundance of toxic uh, liking ale. Even so, there is some hope for the cases, a dangling rope that offer a way up to the greater society. Since the dwarf case is determined by the parent of the same sex, the male child of a nobleman is part of the noble's house and case. Strategy, it is acceptable for cases women to train in the arts of courtly romance to woo nobles and warriors. They are known as noble hunters. Any male born from such a union is considered a joyous event, considering the low rate of dwarven fertility. The mother and entire family are then taken in by the father's house, although they retain their caste. The dwarves we know on the surface are also considered caseless once they leave Orzuma, although this is only relevant to those who return, if they are allowed to return at all. Dwarves who leave for the surface, the sun-touched, as they are often called behind their backs, lose their connection to the stone and the favor of the ancestors, and thus are worthy of little more than pity, for upon dying they are said to be uh, lost to the stone forever. Put that way, it seems a sad existence indeed. The Paragons. As I studied among the dwarves, I became aware that their social system was rigid as the stone that surrounded them. For the lowest servants to 
uh, the king of Orzuma, each dwarf has a case, a rigid social standing which dictates what he may do and how he may do it. F what fascinates me, uh, what fascinated me then was that the dwarves, that the dwarves, stubborn and proud as they may be, have built in a way for even the lowliest dwarf to bypass the caste system and reach prominence. Any dwarf who ha has made an achievement of significance can be named Paragon, elevating that dwarf above all others. To become a Paragon is to be recognized as essentially a living ancestor. Your words are considered ineffable, ineffable and the dwarves liken you unto a god. Your family, those you choose to ascend with, you become the founders of a new line of nobility. Indeed, every existing noble house among the dwarves tra traces its line back to a founding paragon. It's a rare thing, however. In my visit, I learned that only one paragon has been elected in generations. The smith Branca, exalted for her discovery of smokeless coal. I met the Paragon Branca only once during my stay, and I considered it an odd occasion indeed. Surrounded by those of her house, this ill-tempered woman was draped in the finest clothing and jewelry and was obviously revered even above the highest nobles, perhaps above the king. Yet she seemed to enjoy none of it. The burden of being a living legend is, gr is great, it appears. Statues of the Paragon are found throughout Orzuma, though nowhere so prominently than in the Hall of Heroes, through which one passes on entering from the surface. It is a breathtaking sight to behold great works of stone, all seemingly to hold up the ceiling above. It is meant to impress upon visitors to Orzuma of all who have gone before, I think. It is also meant to remind dwarves going to the surface and thus abandoning their brethren forever uh, of all they are leaving behind. Uh, Balin Edekan, third king of Endrin's children. Balin has always been considered the last and least of his family, not to the heir nor the favorite, and not as accomplished as either sibling. Balin's most noble, notable trait was his ability to stay out of trouble. Lord Pyro Harrowmount. House Harrowmount is one of the oldest noble houses, as old as Orzoma itself. Endrin's most trusted advisor, Harrowmount, is well known for being an able administrator and the author of many compromises in the ever wearing assembly. Laliana Lea takes care to honor the loathing cloister that took her in and keeps symbols of Andras's blessing close to her heart. Okay, got that update. And then we have quest related the Unbound excerpt. And when the, his kingdom fell, so disappeared the stolen riches of an age. The beast, the Unbound, dormant until one of the true spirit. One of true spirit claims his throne. So must hunt the hero of his people, the principled who would search for ancient evil. This is how they can make a real difference. Scribbled in the corner in a shaky hand. Three pages, three ages. Same story, updated. Same as the tavern song, but older. Signature torn on purpose, but compare and get Vuln Maron. All from him. How? So that is from the one guy who ran out yelling. Out of, the, uh, out of the tavern, that is. But this will be it for today. Thank you all for watching today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. We will uh, explore Orzammar a lot more uh, in the upcoming episodes, I'm sure. So stay tuned. If you enjoyed the episode, please give it a thumbs up. Maybe consider subscribing to the channel. And that would help me out a whole bunch. And will bring you more content in the future. I will be back with more Dragon Age Origins tomorrow. Until then, have a great time.